Already I could feel the tightness here on my skin and already I could see what it is looking like. It's grabbing my skin right now, like really grabbing my skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those mouth wrinkles, woo, feels so good. It's tightening on my skin, guys. Look at my cheeks. Look how it's plump in my cheeks. Oh my goodness. I just love this. This is really amazing. We're gonna firm it up. We're gonna lift it up. We're gonna tighten. We're gonna brighten. We're gonna lighten. Oh, so lovely. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are gonna tighten. We're gonna firm and we're gonna lift giving you that radiance that's all natural facelift right in the comfort of your home using all natural ingredients now if you find your skin sagging if you're getting wrinkles and fine lines also guys if you have not yet started to see the skin sagging and you're looking to prevent the skin from sagging you're looking to prevent wrinkles and fine lines this is for you so this is great for almost everyone so guys stay with me so I can show you how I'm gonna use a simple ingredient and turn it in this powerful facial mask that is going to take care of you plump the skin tighten the skin brighten and lighten the skin and have you looking years younger in no time all done in the comfort of your home so if you're interested in this video continue watching firm it up Our first and main ingredient is cornstarch and cornstarch has been used in the a beauty industry for a lot of different purposes it is also known to help with sunburn skin irritation however what you might not be aware of is that punch starch actually make a wonderful tightening ingredient that can help to lift and firm the skin if you are looking for an instant lift you can use a cornstarch paste so today i'm going to be mixing this cornstarch with some wonderful ingredient that is going to help to lift and firm your skin tighten and tone that skin and also to brighten lighten and get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin our next ingredient is lemon which is a natural skin brightener it have antioxidant vitamin c which help to brighten that skin and to help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes and it will leave your skin with that wonderful glow now take a look at the next ingredient and this is the aloe vera gel the aloe vera gel is great for the skin overall it helps to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin while hydrating the skin it penetrates deep into those pores it's plump that skin up boots and the collagen production in the skin not only that aloe vera gel help to clear spots and blemishes from the skin it also helps to lighten and brighten that skin while hydrating that skin wonderful ingredient for the skin that can use by itself or mixed with other ingredients take a look at what I have here and this is rose water this is another hydrator for the skin this will have your skin just plump dewy looking and soft and supple the next ingredient is coconut oil for this recipe you can choose to use coconut oil or you can choose to use grapeseed oil or even olive oil this is going to moisturize the skin and this is going to help the skin to be soft and supple however coconut oil when mixed with other ingredients can help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes and take a look at the final ingredient and this is an optional ingredient this is matcha powder which is a highly concentrated green tea which will help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines however if you do not have matcha you can use some green tea use a tea bag just blend it to a powder it's an optional ingredient that is further gonna enhance this wonderful facial mask you're also gonna need a little bit of a hot water not a lot just a little for this recipe so we're gonna start this off by preparing the aloe vera we're gonna extract the gel from the aloe vera leaf 
and extracting the gel is a pretty easy I'm making just for one treatment so you do not need a lot an ounce to two ounces of aloe vera gel and take a look at this up close a uh, very nice so I'm just gonna extract it by cutting both sides here and go right under here if you do not have a blender you could actually scrape the gel like just peel the top off and just scrape it however if you have a blender go ahead and do it the way I am doing it by blending so now we have our fresh aloe vera gel right here we're gonna place this in the blender do not add any water to this just cover and blend we have our blended aloe vera gel we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna work on our lemon now for our lemon, I'm not going to be using lemon juice. I'm going to be using lemon zest. So I'm going to start off by zesting the lemon. To zest the lemon, you just need to rub the lemon on a grater like I'm showing here. Do not go too deep. Rub and spin around. And we only need about a, a teaspoon of lemon zest and this is more than enough here we have our fresh lemon so I'm gonna be using one tablespoon which is 15 ml of cornstarch and if you are using the matcha powder I'm only gonna use a pinch of the matcha powder a pinch is like 1 16 teaspoon you do not need a lot However, if you are using tea bags, use at least a teaspoon in this recipe. So I'm gonna pour my pinch of matcha, and now I'm just gonna mix the two dry ingredients together. If you are trying to do this recipe and you do not have corn starch, you can use corn flour. If you do not have corn flour, you can even use some gram flour instead of the cornstarch or go ahead and use plain old flour it's gonna get the job done just as well so now that we have the dry ingredient all mixed in I'm gonna reach for my hot water and I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of hot water reaching for my aloe vera gel and I'm going to use a tablespoon, 15 ml of the aloe vera gel, one teaspoon, 5 ml of our lemon zest, and we're using about half of a teaspoon of rose water, which is about 2.5 ml, and now we're going to blend this together. Now the cornstarch is going to thicken up somewhat so when you start mixing it's going to look a little watery not to worry that's okay so just blend this well for our coconut oil I'm using a half of a teaspoon 2.5 ml just a little touch same amount whichever oil you are using take a look at this this is perfect so next we are going to set this aside for a couple of minutes probably about five minutes and what is going to happen it's going to thicken up and then I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to show you how to use this wonderful facial tightening mask on your skin for best result. Now before you apply your tightening facial mask the first thing you want to do you want to cleanse your face so you're gonna wash your face the way you normally do with your favorite cleanser and then you're gonna use a wash rug you're gonna make sure the wash rug is soaked in warm water squeeze the excess out and then you're gonna place it over your face like this pat it on your face leave it on the face for about a minute what you're actually doing you're actually opening the pores opening the pores to absorb this wonderful goodness in your skin now once that is done we put in the wash rug aside and then 
we are going to use a brush to apply this facial mask if you're all fun and game go ahead and use your hands now I like to apply it with a brush and I like to apply this in upward strokes and guys the fragrant is amazeball amazing all right so apply your mask in upward strokes don't forget wrinkles over your mouth pack it on your nose especially if you have a lot of large pores on the nose and just keep brushing it on now for those of you with forehead wrinkles upwards when you're applying this mask on your forehead upwards all the little fine wrinkles right here just apply it there in upward strokes as I'm showing here don't forget right here at the side all those fine wrinkles just pack it on there now guys for the jawline pack it on the jawline for those sagging jawlines we're gonna tighten the jawline up guys we are gonna tighten it up while brightening the skin. Now, for the neck, guys, upward stroke. Those sagging neck, ooh, take care of the neck, all right? Upward strokes. Now, once your face is completely covered with this facial mask, you're gonna sit with it on the skin for at least 30 minutes. Within the first five minutes of having this on your face, you're going to feel a sensation on the skin. And it's not even three minutes good, and I'm already feeling the sensation on my skin. It is like a tightening sensation that is going on, which is awesome. That is the mask grabbing the skin and tightening the skin. And let me come up close for you to see what is happening. Already. I could feel the tightness here on my skin and already I could see what it is looking like it's grabbing my skin right now like really grabbing my skin I like when I use a facial mask I can feel it working on my skin and that is what is oh the forehead yes yes I am as a matter you know what let me stop talking let me just stay with a straight face so that it, the product can really do its job on my skin so I'm gonna leave this at 30 minutes and then I will be back now I have been wearing my facial mask for about 30 minutes and as you can see the mask has dried on the skin they still have a little way to go right here so I'm gonna sit with it for another 10 minutes or so now after you wear your mask for about 30 minutes given take you're gonna rinse this off with some warm water now after rinsing with some warm water you're then gonna rinse with some cold water in that way you are closing back those pores just close the pores and then take a look at your skin it should be looking amazing you should notice an instant lift an instant glow and an instant clearness to your skin so just rinse off and then pat dry the skin apply your favorite products such as your favorite facial toner your favorite serum and your favorite moisturizer Start, give the flower a try also you could use gram flower just give it a try use it for a week or two come back and tell me how well you like it or exactly how you feel about this awesome goodness so if you're interested in today's video and you have not yet subscribed just look below you're gonna see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed also on the side there's a little bell if you click on that and you turn it on in your setting on your phone you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.